sometimes it's just right down in here, right? Mm. Or just barely over a whisper. A dynamic microphone just isn't going to pick that up nearly as well. Yeah. So let's talk price points then with these. Uh, you know, are we talking sort of USB a cheap dynamic are in the middle and the condenser on the, or more expensive? Is it, is it that straightforward or is it more of a mixture? I think it's a mixture at this point um, mm. because we are, while USB microphones in my experience, and I recently did a big mic shootout with uh, several USB microphones, um, not all of them were the cheapest. Um, you know, so it's becoming more of a mix for mm. sure. Um, but on the other hand, there are certainly, you know, you can certainly get I mean, for goodness sakes, the Shure SM58 and 57, those are dynamic microphones that are less than 100 bucks. Right. Um, not good for voiceover per se, um, but, you know, inexpensive. Uh, on the other hand, we know certainly that we can spend, you know, uh, 5000 or $10,000 on a really high quality large diaphragm condenser microphone. Now, that's not really necessary for what we do. Uh, you know, it, it's just not necessary. Uh, and then the USB microphones, generally they have been lower cost because of the way we use them, usually on portable devices. And, you know, that's kind of the intention, I think, mm. um, and why they started uh, really producing them so people can plug them into their phones, use them on their iPads, you know, and that's just a clunky, more unprofessional way of recording anyway, but it can get the job done. Um, but they are getting better quality, I, you know, of the mics that I tested in the USB shootout, um, you know, the Sennheiser MK4 uh, was definitely the best one. Uh, yeah. And th their, their, uh, their non-USB version of that microphone is actually less expensive than the USB version of that same microphone. Right, yeah. Um, so price points, you know, it, it's becoming a, a little bit more uh, scattered in that way. And not only that, but you know, you can get a lot of really great sounding large diaphragm condenser microphones, uh, you know, at, at a fairly reasonable price point. I'm wondering if you think that it's just a matter of time before we see like a U87 USB mic. <laughs> and for the <laughs> listeners at home, well, U, uh, U87 is a large diaphragm condenser mic that is uh, sort of ubiquitous in most recording studios. And also very expensive. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Around the $3,000 price point in the U.S. Yeah. Um, and, and I would say no. And here's the reason why. It's not, it's not because I don't think the technology can be good enough. I do. Mm. I, I, I think the technology can be outstanding. But the people who are going to be purchasing mics at that level, uh, I would say a, a thousand on up, um, they're going to want the freedom that comes with a mic that's not a USB mic because they can uh, pair the preamp individually. They can choose their converters. If one piece fails, they can you know quickly swap in another piece, just yeah. the piece that fails. It's uh, it's just generally a more professional solution all around from a practicality standpoint to not use a USB microphone. Not mm -hmm. saying you can't do professional work with a USB microphone. But if you're doing it day in, day out, uh, it's it's a tool like you would find in any other job. And uh, USB microphones j are are just a very a, a very simple tool, like a multi tool. Yeah. Whereas if you go see a mechanic, a mechanic's not going to do much with a multi tool. He he or she will have a, an entire range of of specialty tools, so they can choose exactly the right piece for what they need. I yeah. totally agree with that. I totally agree with that. And that's actually also a really good, uh, ex you know, uh, way to illustrate that, you know, that yeah. comparison. Absolutely. So I'd like to go ahead and uh, maybe bust a few myths right now. <laughs> um, now, my first statement slash question here is, do you need an expensive mic to work professionally? And you both touched upon that a little while ago. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. The microphone, to me, is the third most important thing in the chain. So, you know, you don't have to have an expensive microphone to work professionally. What you really need is the ability to deliver and communicate copy mo effectively, first and foremost. Yeah. Then you need a space, an environment that uh, can also work in, in, in a, you know, can sound professional. Yeah. Because the microphone is really the third most important thing in that chain. 
Um, so, you know, if you were to give a low, lower quality microphone to somebody who's been doing this for 20 years uh, and, you know, they can probably get a pretty good sound out of it and they'll still be able to communicate that message effectively to where, mm. you know, I mean, there's a reason why some people when they're on the road travel with a little apogee usb mic and actually some of the things that they do go to air yeah. with that microphone and it's yeah. because they know what they're doing 